How's it going, folks? I have a special guest today, one of the all-time greats, Greg Salas. How are you doing, Greg? Good, I'm good. How are you? Hey, good. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, chatting with us on this really rainy day. Um, you know, I want to start at the beginning with you um, at UH. Uh, you know, you're still all over the record book. You're number one in uh, all-time receiving yards. When you look back on your time at UH, um, what, what memories come to mind? Um, I think there's a lot, you know, the Sugar Bowl, uh, just even getting a scholarship to come mm -hmm. play at the University of Hawaii, I thought was just the biggest deal in the world to me mm -hmm. when I was in high school, so, um, yeah, but the Sugar Bowl, I believe like the 2010 football season, mm -hmm. and all the little milestones and marks that you don't really think of at the time and you kind of reflect on, back on afterwards is just the things I remember the most, and, and of course, all the brothers I made out here, you know, mm -hmm. all the relationships I've made with, with all the players, um, and that's important to me. Yeah, that was really a, a special time in uh, Warrior history. Uh, can do you have a favorite moment, like even other than the Hawaii Bowl, um, setting all those records and all whack and all that stuff? Uh, I mean, those are all great memories, but I, I think really the thing I, I look back on the most was our 2010 season, where we kind of. We're able to step out of the shadow of you know the 2007 mm -hmm. and 2008 and kind of or excuse me just 2007 2006 team and really build our own um, you know lasting impression of a team that was our own and it wasn't you know Colt Devon and, mm -hmm. and Ryan and Leonard and all those greats you know all the old linemen D linemen that were playing at the time and uh, you know kind of set our own little little legacy somewhat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after UH, you were drafted by the St. Louis Rams, right? Yeah. And um, do you feel like did your time at UH, did it prepare you enough, you know, for for the NFL? Were there, were there things about the pro game that really surprised you? Um, you know, I think everybody's surprised when they first get there, you know, it's just it's just a big jump a lot of a lot of players make. Um, everyone's extremely good, so, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the competition just goes up, but, um, you know, I think I was I was pretty well prepared from a receiver standpoint, but you know, mm -hmm. learning a different playbook is it's a lot different than the run and shoot we used here. Um, you know, a lot of the concepts are the same, but as far as the play call, you know, we were always doing just trips right or trips left, and mm -hmm. and you didn't really have to understand any types of formations. When you get to the pro level, there's you know half the battle is learning where to line up. So uh, that was probably one of the biggest obstacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you scored like a couple of touchdowns, right, when you're in the NFL with the Jets. Uh -huh. And then, but I think a lot of people remember your touchdown with the Bills, a 71-yard score from uh, Tyrod Taylor. Mm -hmm. Take me through those memories. That, those, those must have been like something you always treasure. Yeah, I always treasure those memories. <laughs> uh, the Jets, when I'll remember because I pulled my hamstring on it. <laughs> so I always remember uh, actually getting into the running, you know, 25 yards on a pulled hamstring. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll always remember the Bills one. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it was just a, a great game for me. Uh, we didn't get the win, unfortunately, but I was able to contribute and, and have a big game for, for the team at the time. And, yeah. And I'll always remember that and doing a flip into the end zone. Yeah. And, uh, was that something you planned? Did you always no, mean to do that? No, I think that was just a lot of pent up, you know, waiting to score a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think everything just kind of culminated at that point and uh, it just happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course. Um, of course, the injuries kind of derailed your career. And, and do you feel like you. You, you got a fair shot at the league, uh, you know, do, do you feel like, have you got out of your system yet? I th definitely think I got a fair shot, you know, um, I was started my rookie year, I was able to earn a starting job last year, uh, I was able to be in the league, uh, NFL for six years, so mm -hmm. I was always able to prove my worth and, and got a fair shake in that sense, uh, but, you know, I think just injuries kind of held me back whenever I'd gain momentum or earn a starting position mm -hmm. and, or earn playing time. I, I always have something that kind of popped up and mm -hmm. was able to sideline me for a couple of weeks or for the season. So uh, I definitely think I got my fair shake. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Uh, what brought you back here to Hawaii? Uh, family. Family. Mm -hmm. I was able to, I just had a, a newborn daughter. Mm -hmm. So she's a little over two months now and the wife is from here. So we wanted to come back and, and raise our child here for the first couple of years. Um, Especially when I'm back in school, so mm -hmm. that was important for us, and we we were happy we're back here and, <laughs> and able to help out and, uh -huh. and have some fun. 
How do you enjoy being a dad? Oh, it's awesome. Uh -huh. Awesome. It's the greatest gift. Uh, <laughs> Uh, she's a handful, mm -hmm. a little baby Bella, but uh, I mean, she's beautiful. I've never, I didn't know you can love something so much until mm -hmm. you have a child. So uh, I'm enjoying it and, and soaking it in. Okay, last question. Uh, tell us what you're doing here now at, at UH. Um, I'm working here with the in the athletics department, uh, just helping out with various initiatives wherever they can use me. Um, it's kind of where I help out, you know, whether it's social media or marketing mm -hmm. or um, experiences and giveaways. Uh, kind of just get into anything that they they think is of importance, and they're able. They let me kind of decide kind of what I want to help out with too a little bit for not the most part, but you know some of it. But you know it's great to just come back and help out the university, and they're extremely flexible in my hours, so it's just it's fun to be back. Great, great. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah, it.